Hey, if you get in trouble, do we still love you? Yes. If you don't get in trouble, do we love you? Yes. Do we love you more if you're not in trouble? I don't know how to answer <laughs> that. You don't know how to answer that. Hey everyone, my name is Chad. I am a Jesus follower and I am the pastor at Henderson General Baptist Church. And today I have with me two special guests and we are continuing on our family devotion time about foster care and adoption. And I encourage you as this is the fourth one in this series to watch the others and get the totality of what this foster care and adoption is all about. So there's so much to it. I wanna give you a verse from last week with Caitlin that I wanna give in this moment here because I want Bradley to hear it for the first time himself to be able to hear what this scripture says. and it is found in Psalm 127 verse 3 and it reads this, children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. So, knowing that foster care and adoption, and we see all kinds of movies, we see all kinds of films, we see all kinds of TV that comes with all kinds of different angles about foster care. We see all kinds of good, bad, and different with foster parents. We see all kinds of good, bad, and different uh, with the welfare system and with the child care system and all these things uh, that give us insight. But what I want you to know from this family right now that I see see this jughead who has gotten taller than his mom and dad whatever that he is a gift from God to us that he is a reward from God into my family and with this family thing, we see it, and oftentimes we think of foster care, we think of adoption, and many people see them as different than or less than. In all of your years of growing up in our house, oftentimes people have come along and they go, man, he looks exactly like you. And I go, I know, he's my son. And then later on, we see Grace, and they go, who is she? And I go, she looks exactly like me. Yes, she's mine. Why? Because what is most important to me is not what is on the outside, it's what's on the inside. And there is greatness inside of this young man, and he is at the age of how old? 13. 13 months old. 13 years. Oh, years old. But that's how old you were when you first came in, was about 13 months old. So in this, I want you to introduce yourself first. I'm Heather. I'm the pastor's wife at Henderson General <laughs> Baptist Church. But more importantly, I'm Bradley's mom. Bradley's mom. And Bradley, tell them who you are. I'm Bradley Hensley. I am the past, I'm a pastor's kid at Henderson General Baptist Church. Yes. Are you nervous about being on here? A little bit. A little bit. That's okay. Everybody knows not everybody can get on here and go, hey, everyone, and do like I do, right? But here's what I want you to be able to talk to them about. I want you to talk just a little bit about what it's like to be in foster care and adoption. You're going to know more about adoption because you were so young, but you've known ever since. You've always known that you were adopted into our family. Talk just for a moment with them, however long you want to go, with what that looks like. For them to see from a child's perspective of growing up in an adoptive home. Um, so when you're adopted, it feels... Just like it would in a regular family, and you get a family of your own, and they love you the same as everyone else in the in the house. Do we love you the same? Yes. If you get in trouble, do we still love you? Yes. If you don't get in trouble, do we love you? Yes. Do we love you more if you're not in trouble? 
I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> you don't know how to answer that because you realize how many times have you heard me say, no matter what you say or what you do, I will never, it will never change how much I love you. Have you ever heard me say that? I have. You have heard I that. Think about that. Yeah, I know. I know. But here's what I want them to see. Do you have a family or do you belong? I do. You do belong. And what happens when you get taller than dad? What does that mean? Um, I don't know. See, I mean, if I stood up, I'm taller than you, right? Yeah, but if I stand up. <laughs> if you stand up. So, here's what I want Heather to do. I want her to take a moment and express to Bradley what it means to have him in our family. Well, Bradley truly is a gift from God. And, you know, he... He was the first child that was brought to our doorstep. Very first foster child in our house, right? And we yeah. signed up to be foster parents. We did not jump into this thinking we want to adopt children. We just knew we had a home and enough love to share, and we wanted to help out some kids who needed it. And, you know, I'll never forget looking back on pictures and remembering those first few days with Bradley here. Um, his eyes were just... They were dull, they didn't shine, they didn't sparkle. He seemed so sad. Um, mm -hmm. But after just a few days, you just started to see the light come into his eyes and the more we poured love into him, the more we were able to see that light shine through him. And I'm so proud of the young man that he has grown up to become and I can't wait to watch him as the future continues to move forward into who he'll be and where he'll go in life. Absolutely. So in and through this, what I want you to see is that when we look at foster care and adoption, that yes, we've been open in our household and not everybody is because ultimately what aggravates me is when people come along and say, who are your real children? Well, by crikey, I don't know about this, but watch this. Oop, did that hurt? A little bit. A little bit. Why? Because he's real. He's a real human being. I don't know if you can see that or not. Watch this. His arm goes up and down. Why? Because he's real. And, and he's not Pinocchio? He's not. He's not made of wood. And when he lies, and he has been known to lie because he knows James chapter, what? Um, Ephesians. Ephesians chapter. No. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 24. Oh, we don't even remember. But what we know is, is that, yes, he still does some things in life because he's my child. And I used to do things when I was a kid that I shouldn't have done. But my parents still loved me and I still love him. Here's what I want you to grapple with in this moment. That we're a real family. And when we look at it, and I realize that in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 5, that God adopted you into your, his family when you accepted Jesus Christ. And you are a part of his family and you are his family because it brings him great pleasure. Well, Bradley is a reward and a gift from God to me. And it's one that I take very seriously to protect him and to raise him in what it means to be a man and what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. And ultimately, everything that I do for our family is to always provide a place that we grow up and we become better than what we ever thought possible. Bradley, is there greatness inside of you? I believe so. Oh, I know so. And there's greatness inside of you. So here's what I want you to do today. I want you to take a moment to pray for all those children in foster care right now. I want you to pray for all those children right now that are waiting to be adopted into a good family. And then I want you to pray and see, is there something you can do to help that child or help out an organization or help out a group? Know that they need help in and through their life that pure and, and undefiled religion in the sight of God is when we take care of orphans in their time of need. May you go conquer your day. Go conquer your life. You ever hear me say that to you? You say go conquer your day. Go conquer your day. Yeah, I've added in go conquer your life too because ultimately everybody's on a journey. Go take this journey seriously. You want to say anything else before we get off of here? Um, other than like 
subscribe and share with your friends. Well, don't tell me. Tell them. Like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Yes. Or your enemies. I mean, pick <laughs> your enemies, too. They need to hear this stuff.